Now we know that fractions are part of whole. So this time we will take triangle as our shape. Last time we did it with circle, right? In a triangle, how can you divide a triangle into two equal parts? Well, one way is that we can drop a perpendicular like this. Well, the triangle which I've taken here is equilateral triangle. That means all sides are equal, okay? All sides are equal. In that case, if I draw up a perpendicular, I divide it into two equal parts, right? And if I shade one of them, let's say this one, then what portion have I shaded? I have shaded one out of how many? I have shaded one out of two, and that is half, right? And that is half. Or we can say one half, okay? Let me write one half here, okay? Now, can you divide a triangle into three equal parts? That is not easy. Try to divide, if I draw a line here and there, it is more than three, right? How can you divide a triangle into three equal parts? I hope you understand. I want denominator as three. That is what I'm looking for. So can you divide a triangle into three equal parts? Let's try. So if I divide from here and stop there, and then from here and stop there, and then from here to that, oh yeah, that's possible. So let's do it that way. So there you go. So we have triangle in three equal parts. Do you see that? So that is the trick to divide triangle in three equal parts. And then let's shade. Okay, this time again, I am doing the left triangle. Okay, so we got one third here. It's even more difficult to divide triangle into four equal parts. Come on. Three was so tough. Now four. How can you divide triangle into four equal parts? Think about it. That is definitely a very tricky question. Let me help you out. So to divide it into four equal parts, the trick is get the center points, right? Get the center points. For three, we got the center of the triangle. Do you see that? For two, we got center of one side. So that is the trick. Do you understand? So look at the centers. So to divide a triangle into two equal parts, and we are dealing with equilateral triangle, look for center of a side. For three equal parts, look for center of the triangle. And for four, center of all the sides. So join them. See what you get. Center of all the sides gives you how many triangles? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's shade one of them. So let me use a different color this time. Okay, blue. So that is how much? One out of how many parts are there? One out of four, right? So there are four equal parts here. One out of four. Now tell me from here, can you arrange these fractions from least to greatest? From least to greatest. Let's see, if you can arrange them from least to greatest. Do you understand? Least is minimum and greatest is maximum. So compare the shaded portions. This is least, right? So yes, we can arrange. So the least is one out of four for us, right? So let me write down one is one out of four as the least, correct? And the greatest is the green one, which is half. And in between, we have one third. Do you see that? So that is how you can arrange them from least to greatest. The trick is, see how much has been shaded for equal shapes, right? So we have to take three equal triangles and compare. So that is one out of two. This is one out of three and one out of four. You can clearly see this is least and this is greater than one over four and one over two is greatest. 
right so that is how you can compare the other way you can figure out is think about it like this that if you have something to share with right let's say you have 12 candies now if you have 12 candies and if you have to share with four persons how many will you get think about it. if you have to share them with three how many will you get and if you have to share 12 candies with just two I mean yourself and your friend then how many do you get if there are 12 and you split them into half you get six and your friend gets six okay so let's make a note of this right so what we are trying to do here is that we are trying to understand that we have 12 candies okay so let's work with 12 candies so we have 12 candies and if you get half of them that means sharing with just your friend so how many do you get out of 12 half of 12 is 6 right okay so that is one way how can you share it you can share like this we'll do it in here different way of sharing how about three friends and sharing 12 candies so what do you do is start giving them candies one by one so let us say these are our friends okay and we'll share how many candies 12 so give one two three so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if there are three friends how many will you get everybody gets four do you see that so everybody gets four candies not six just four so i'll write four here okay if there are four friends then what four friends means i have to divide into four groups right so we have four groups. one two three and four okay let's start sharing 12 in four friends so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 how many will each get each person will get three candies that is all three each let me write the number three here so when do you get the least number of candies when you are sharing with four people of course right that is what fractions are all about so if you think like that we can arrange in from least to greatest do you see the trick think about like sharing with your friends so if there are more friends lesser you get right if there are 12 friends let us say if there are 12 friends then how many will you get just one do you see that so that'd be two less right but what to do now more friends less you get okay so that is how we can share candies with our friends knowing about fractions can you divide this triangle into 12 equal parts we did four think about it how to divide a triangle into 12 equal parts and get just one out of 12 so that is part of your exercise okay i hope you enjoy this video you learned a lot you learned how to arrange the fractions from least to greatest you also learn that if you have 12 candies how many will you get if you are considering half of them or one third or one fourth or one twelfth and also you learn how to divide equilateral triangle into equal number of triangles that is extremely useful i hope that was interesting let's move on and learn more about fractions thank you